Squarespace appointment booking website. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Squarespace appointment booking. So let's get into it. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to come over here onto their website. And if you don't find it, just simply search for Squarespace scheduling and you'll arrive over here. Now, once you're over here, what you want to do is just simply click on try scheduling right here. So we click on try scheduling. And now we just continue with either our Google account or our email. If you want more options, you can select it and you will have all these different options. So select whichever one you want and we are good to go. So I'm going to continue with Google. And once you've done that, this is how your page is going to look like. And over here, this is the Acuity scheduling. So right here, you got to set up your scheduling page. You got to create appointments, set up your availability and then design your scheduling page. So first, let's go ahead and create an appointment type. So it can be either a one on one session or a class or a group. It depends on you. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want. So we'll just say therapy or chiropractice, whatever. And duration is going to be 60 minutes and total price is going to be $100 per hour. And then you click on create appointment type. You can have other additional settings over here as well if you click on it. Now let's go ahead and set up our availability. So we'll say we are available on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the working days. Well, yeah, I'll even add Saturday, but from 12 to 6. And then we can copy it and apply it to all. There we go. Now we'll just leave out Sunday. And there we go. Now we just simply click on save. And if we want, we have additional settings right here. These are the additional settings, but you know, it depends on you. Now let's go back and set up our availability and then we'll set up on design our page so over here now that we've done that all that's left for us to do is to design our scheduling page it's very easy so when you first click over here you will see you have appearances over here now you can select the month whether you want it uh, monthly or daily it depends on you over here you will see it uh, preview so if you go with the monthly uh, click on expand for you to see it this is how it would look like uh, you know but let's go with daily for now, I think. There we go. We'll close the preview. Now we'll just add the business name and we'll select the industry. We'll say it is therapy over here, tutoring, or we can even go with, let's see what type of industry. Let's go with consulting. Um, kind of look, kind of. And then over here, you can write instructions here. What type of or details, what you want people to, you know, use you can even upload your logo here if you want i'll just upload a random logo like this one it should appear over here in but yeah let's close that for now so right here i'll you know add like a small instruction uh, to show the clients before they book their appointment you know whatever kind of like points so something like this i think this looks good uh if you click on expand preview you can see it right here this is how it will look like booking details are over here uh yeah if we go ahead and switch over to monthly then the preview would look something like this very simple very clean but yeah we'll select daily for now close the preview and then down below we want the week starts on monday and time from head i think that looks good and we have our english and yeah i think that looks good we can change the fonts as well let's go with robot and over here we'll change the font to lotto yeah, I think the lotto looks good. You can change the font to whatever you want. And then you have a button accent as well. So you can change the button access to blue, uh, light blue, cayenne, or cyan. And then just simply go ahead and save changes. And then you can go ahead and click on live preview to open it up over here to book it. So this is going to be your logo. I think this looks really good. Uh, down below is your, you know, options. Yeah. So now that that's done, if we come back over here we can add it to your website or you can view the scheduling page over here so yeah this looks good and we can add it to the website and yeah if you want you can click over here onto the scheduling page options to find more options so you have your show scheduling appointment button if you want you can click on it i'd add another time uh require phone number if you want you can require phone number disable client log in registration i don't know if that's necessary but it depends on you you can hide durations or hide prices collapse categories whatever you want then just simply click on save changes and let's go ahead and reload it and yeah very simple after that if you have some custom you know css codes you can add it right here by just you know accessing the premium feature but yeah 
looks really good really really simple now that that's done what we can do now is add it to our website so if we click on add to our website this is the copy link button that you know we can add it to our website so if we click on customize appearance see over here it just opens up uh, the scheduling page again but yeah we don't need that add this to your website over here is the link that they have provided uh if you want you can direct links and embeddings over here so you can directly you know link it to your website for that i think you would need to come over here onto squarespace website so we go into the website builder and over here we get started we're already logged in either way let's go with a consulting website click on next what do you do with this website uh get appointments and we sell memberships i would say but i don't know but yeah we'll sell memberships and click on next now we just go ahead and browse a template and now we just select the website that we like so what type of consulting we want therapist i think that looks pretty cool i think that would look good we can you know go ahead and select maybe a barber shop so that looks good yeah but it depends on you let's say this is it we open up a salon website or a barber shop and we want our code to be embedded over here let's go ahead and click on start with this design you can change up any colors you want so over here this is how it would look like um, you can add in the name over here so we'll just call it and click on next edit the pages yeah i know that all right now that that's done what we want to do now is we want to add our scheduling features so for that if we click on pages we have all these different pages and we already have a book appointment page right here if we click over here this is not linked but you know if we click on this one uh, it opens up over here so this is the appointment setting option now what we want to do is we want to click on this setting option and you want to add it over here now there are a couple of ways that you can do this so if we come back over here you can see we have squarespace we can embed our squarespace site over here uh, we can go with the direct link you know send them directly to the link as a consultation or we can add like a booking button all right booking button looks pretty cool so we'll just simply copy that and let's say we want to add it right here uh, you can go ahead and in this you know appointment booking page you can change some of this out but yeah after that you just simply click on a button let's say this one and you can go ahead and click on confirmation choose whichever one you want select a uh, time and you should be good to go but yeah i think instead of you know all this we just simply add like a button so let me for example if i where is the option if we click on scheduling it'll open up this section right here where we have appointment types uh, so this is the appointment type one we'll just go with that yeah i think this looks good but yeah you can select them and add it right here but it's already added so we don't need to do that but yeah there are a couple of ways that you can add it of course booking bar embedded code whatever but i think the button one looks good we just simply add a button by clicking on the edit button right here and let's say we just simply you know add a block a button search for it and we move it right here this is just an example but yeah click on it click on attach link and just paste it come back over here copy the link click on attach link and paste the link there we go and that should do it you know i'm just saying click on this yeah there we go now if we click on the button we click on this button and instead over here we'll just say book it now or just book it and if we just simply go ahead and click on save click on exit now if we just simply scroll down click on the button it'll take us to this scheduling page where we can schedule our appointment so very simple this is how you do it now of course this was a rough sketch but yeah you can just simply go ahead and add like a button once you've edited the website click on book it and there you go it'll open up in another page so very simple this is how you do it this is how you set up squarespace appointment booking with the website so thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye